if y is equal to sin inverse of cos x, then find dy by dx. So, this problem can be solved in a very simple manner. Here we have two methods. Directly also we can find out otherwise what is the value of sin inverse cos x. In inverse trigonometric functions, you might have studied the cos x can be written in the form of sin of 90 degrees minus x. So, cos x is replaced by sin of 90 degrees minus x. Sin inverse of sin of 90 degrees minus x is you get 90 minus x. If y is equal to 90 minus x, if you differentiate both sides with respect to x, what do you get? You can imagine dy by dx is equal to constant differentiation 0, where pi by 2 differentiation is 0 minus x differentiation is 1, so minus 1, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, that is all. So, otherwise you can use sin inverse u differentiation also that is 1 by root of 1 minus u square into d by dx of u or du by dx, but that will be lengthy. Better my suggestion is that change cos x in terms of sin function easily this pro problem can be cracked. Okay? Shall we proceed in that method? Even that method can be applicable for competitive entrance examinations also. Now, solution given that or given y equals to sin inverse of cos x. Now, this sin inverse of cos x is written in terms of sin that means sin of pi by 2 90 degrees minus x. We have one formula in inverse trigonometric functions sin inverse of sin x is x. You can actually recall this formula sin theta you get theta you can write like it also. So, now this y becomes like this y is equal to you can write pi by 2 minus x. Now, very simple differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, dy by dx equals to d by dx of pi by 2 minus x. This is u minus v du by dx minus dv by dx. So, this is d by dx of pi by 2 minus d by dx of x. Pi by 2 is absolutely constant. The derivative of constant is what? 0. Yes, 0 minus derivative of x is 1. So, we get minus 1. So, this is the answer. If y is equal to sin inverse root x, find dy by dx. Just observe the problem. If you replace root x by u, that becomes sin inverse u. What is the derivative of sin inverse u? 1 by root of 1 minus u square into du by dx. So, that means this is 1 by root of 1 minus x into d by dx of root x. Root x differentiation we know that is 1 by 2 root x only. So, that means this problem easily we can solve. Given y is equal to sin inverse root x. differentiate both sides with respect to x dy by dx is equal to 
d by dx of sin inverse of root x. Just recall the formula for derivative of sin inverse u. So, this is for your reference d by dx of sin inverse u equals to 1 by root of 1 minus u square into du by dx. Better you keep in mind this formula. As we know the formula simply this problem can be done. So, now dy by dx equals to u stands for here root x, am I correct? So, this is 1 by root of 1 minus root x square into d by dx of root x. Okay. Now, what is the value of root x square? x. So, this equals to 1 by root of 1 minus x into 1 by 2 root x whose derivative is whose derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So, now this can be simplified you know one formula root a into root b this can be written as a root of a b using this concept here we can write 1 by 2 times root of x into 1 minus x or it can be further simplified. Now, we can write 1 by 2 root of x into 1 x minus x square. So, this is the answer. If y is equal to tan inverse of log x, then find dy by dx. See, let us say in this problem log x is equal to u. So, the problem becomes y is equal to tan inverse u. What is the derivative of tan inverse u? That is nothing but 1 by 1 plus u square into du by dx. So, that means if u know the formula for the derivative of tan inverse u, this problem can be solved. So, let us solve this problem using the derivative of tan inverse u. So, now solution given y equals to tan inverse of log x. Now, differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, symbol for derivative is dy by dx equals to d by dx of tan inverse log x. Now, let us recall the formula of tan derivative of tan inverse u d by dx of tan inverse u. In some textbooks, it may be tan inverse f of x also, f of x or u, where u is the function of x only. So, this equals to 1 by 1 plus u square into du by dx. Okay. Now, in the next step here u is replaced by log x, here d by dx of log x we have to write that is all. So, that means now dy by dx becomes 1 by 1 plus log x whole square into d by dx of log x. This equal to 
1 by 1 plus log x whole square into derivative of log x is very simple 1 by x just multiply. So, now we get 1 by x times 1 plus log x whole square that is all. So, this is the final answer.